Hello everyone, welcome and welcome to this presentation of the most amazing candlestick pattern you've most likely never heard of. Now in today's presentation, I'm going to share with you and reveal a simple pattern, as you can see, which was located right here, which is if you're able to identify, hopefully you'll be able to take advantage of moves such as this. Okay, I'm going to share with you exactly how to find it, show you what the pattern is in just a few moments. Welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading. If you're new to our website and to our webinars, we are an educational company. It's our philosophy that the only way someone can become consistent in trading the markets is through sound fundamental education that has stood the test of time. OK, we are not a signal service. We are not a company that just provides you with a strategy or a system and says, good luck trading it. Here are the rules. We are more of an educational company providing you with this information. And we provide our members with all of this information that has stood the test of time in over 100 countries around the world and in virtually every state of the United States. Now, I've been trading for nearly four decades. I started my trading career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for a total of 16 years. Nine of those years, I was a specialist. Now, a specialist is simply someone that used to make markets in the, mar in the stock market. Mostly it's uh, been uh, automated now and, and very electronically uh, detailed. But in the, way back in the day, roughly uh, 40 years ago, if you wanted to buy or sell a particular equity, you had to go up to the person who specialized in that. That's where you get the name specialist. So I made markets in roughly 50 stocks. I traded through the crash of 1987. I was on the floor then. And I was on the floor in the bull market that followed. Uh, after leaving the floor, I managed money, pursued my own trading account. And about eight years ago, I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies and we formulated specialist trading, where all I do is simply mentor and educate my students the things that I've accumulated in my nearly four decades of trading. Now, as you'll see today, we give a lot of detail and attention towards educating you. And I'm going to share with you this great, great pattern that most likely none of you have ever seen. I learned about this when I was on the floor of the stock exchange, and it's really helped me to become a consistent candlestick trader. But before we begin, we are required to show you this. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results applying this particular pattern. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I am about to share with you will be repeated in the future. Once again, we're required to show you this. So as you're taking a brief moment to view our disclaimer, I would also like to take this time to invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. Here's our handle at SPC LST TRADG. I post new information on a daily basis, anywhere from uh, signals that some of our strategies have generated to actual bits of wisdom I've accumulated along the way and daily financial wisdom. So a lot of great information. Feel free to follow us on Twitter. OK, so as I stated, we are unlike the other companies that you've gone to webinars or, or seen or purchased uh, 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 trading systems from because our only goal is to teach you how to trade. You notice I don't say my goal is to trade for you and to provide you signals on a nightly basis so that you can simply copy them. Now, we provide signals on, on a nightly basis, but for educational purposes. In other words, we want you to know what to look for. We're not telling you to trade them. We want you to know what to look for and what to learn from so that ultimately you can make your own trading decisions. If there's one thing I've learned in my nearly 40 years of trading, it's that no two traders trade alike. And that's one of the reasons why most traders fail, estimates upwards of 80%, is because you're relying on someone or something to tell you how to trade. I mean, think of your own uh, decision-making process. Do you go to a, a chat room or a trading room every day to find out what to buy or what to sell, or what time frame to trade? Do you watch all the pundits on TV telling you what the best stock is to buy? Or uh, do you have some system which automatically tells you what to buy or sell? You realize when you're doing this, you're automatically taking yourself out of the game. Because what you're doing is basically telling the markets, I don't know what to do. Tell me what to do. And that's why 80% of most traders fail. So it's my belief that the reason why is because you're taking yourself out of the game. If you can put yourself back in the game with sound fundamental education that has stood the test of time, I really think you'll increase your odds for success and you will go on to be a consistent trader. Not just trading one or two months, but 10, 20, 30 years down the road. I'm saying this from firsthand experience because this is the way my trading started. In my first year or two, I struggled tremendously. It wasn't until my mentors taught me the things I, I share and teach all my students that I turned my trading around and I feel that's what's been able to sustain me, okay? So as you see here, as your mentor, my goal is not to trade for you. My goal is to teach you how to trade with a specialist edge, the same edge that turned my trading around. 
Okay, so since we rely so much on education, this, you're going to see this is going to be a real educational presentation today. But just like a classroom, I love taking your questions, but kindly wait till the very end of the webinar to ask any questions. Many times, if you wait for the next slide, your question is answered. So if you happen to have a question, please wait for the next 20 or 30 minutes, and then I'll take all of your questions at the very end, okay? The only question I will answer at this point is probably the most popular one, and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So if you're having technical difficulties, or if you have to leave early, don't worry. Uh, you can request a, a video link to this from ProTrader Strategies, okay? Just contact them, and they'll send you a link to this recording. All right, so questions at the very end of today's presentation. Why don't we begin? Let's start off by talking about engulfing candlestick patterns because this pattern I'm going to be sharing with you is based off of candlestick patterns, but it's, it's totally different from what you've learned before. All right, just a brief refresher course. What I'm going to be sharing with you is a bull bull pattern. All right, I'm sure none of you have ever heard of that before, but you're going to see how powerful it is. It's based off of a bullish engulfing pattern, but here's where it differentiates from that. Here's your standard bullish engulfing pattern. It's a two bar pattern. Bar one is usually uh, exemplified by a down day, and bar two's range totally engulfs that down day with an up day, all right? Standard conventional bullish engulfing pattern. Here's where a bull bull pattern differentiates from that. We're going to change bar number one to being an up day as well. And so you need both of the bars to open and close higher, but bar number two's open to close range must totally engulf bar number one's open to close range, just like your standard engulfing, uh, engulfing pattern, but both bars need to be up. Because of the way it's structured, you're gonna see less and less of these, but you're gonna see how powerful they are because an up day was totally engulfed by another up day. This is just showing you, uh, you, you know, the behavior behind the markets that there's a lot of buyers there, okay? And so usually you'll have an even stronger conviction to the upside with this bull bull pattern as opposed to your standard conventional bullish engulfing pattern. Now conversely, we can have a bear bear pattern, all right? It's based off of your standard bearish engulfing pattern. Once again, this is a two bar pattern. Bar number one's range is usually up, open to close range is up, and bar number two's range is down where the down day totally engulfs bar number one's open to close range. Now, with a bull bull pattern, we need both days to be down, okay? This is your bear bear pattern because what this means, it's market behavior is telling us that this is very negative. A down day was engulfed by another down day. So most likely you're gonna get a strong move to the downside. And remember, this is not a system. This is not a strategy. This is just a pattern to look for. If you see this, it's the market, not some guy on TV, not some guy in a chat room. It's the market sending you a signal, a very, very strong signal as to which direction it wants to go. And I can't think of a better edge, a, a better a cue to come from than from the market itself. So this is what I was taught nearly 40 years ago and seeing this pattern really helps. Now you don't see a lot of them, but you do see plenty of them, all right? So let me show you some examples and how this works. All right, here's JEC, as we can see here, looking at this, the market has been going higher. Conventional wisdom usually tells us if the market's going higher, we want to look for a reversal pattern, some type of a bearish engulfing pattern. We don't believe in that. We just want to find the pattern wherever it is. And as we can see here, what do we have? A bull bull pattern, okay? So regardless of what conventional wisdom says, regardless of what some guy in a trading room says, the market, which is the only thing you should be listening to, is telling you, I want to go higher. So our job as a trader is simply to listen to the market, listen to what it wants to do, and then jump on board. So if it's telling us it wants to go higher, well, look what happened. The stock rose eight points in two months, all right? Now, remember, this is not a system. This is not telling you where to exit. It's not telling you exactly where to enter. It's not telling you where to place a stop. I know a lot of you probably have questions saying that. We'll go into that a little bit later. What it is telling you is the direction it wants to go in a very near-term basis. Now, you had eight points to work with on the upside. How about PX, all right? Same thing here. This thing was going higher. The stock was going higher. And what are we met with? A bullish, bullish pattern, a bull, bull pattern. So the market is telling us it's not stopping. We're most likely going to go higher. And the stock rose seven points in the next month. So you had seven points to work with in that direction. Now, the trend stopped, and all of a sudden, we went lower. Okay, so hopefully you would have 
at least made some good amount of money on that seven point rise. Now, if the market's going lower, well, what do we have here? We have a bear bear pattern. So the market's telling us it wants to go even lower. And as you can see, we dropped another four points in the following month. How about ZBH? This is the example I shared with you earlier. Now, I kind of teased you a little bit by making you think that there was some large pattern, some five or 10 bar pattern you had to look for. In all actuality, the only thing we're concerned with are two bars right here. That's a bull bull pattern. So we're not concerned with going 10, 20 bars back, looking at the highest high, lowest low. We're only concerned with two bars. And right here, the market tells us, I want to go higher. So it went higher 10 points in the next two months. You had that many points to work with. Now, from time to time, you will see things like this, because I'm not going to sit here and tell you that every trade is fantastic. Every time you see one of these, it either goes up or down 10 or 20 points. From time to time, you'll see examples such as this in Apple where we had a bear bear pattern. OK, so, you know, I'm sure you see that and you say, OK, well, Steve says that's negative because the market's telling me it wants to go lower. So I'm going to just sell at the market and then look what happens. OK, you'll also see some things like this. PRGO, here's a bull bull pattern. All right. Let's say this is your first trade. You say, OK, well, Steve taught me this in a webinar last week, so I'm just going to buy at the market because the market says it wants to go higher. Right. And look what happened. Remember, this is not a 100 percent foolproof type of pattern. Nothing is. And if you think that you should run from anyone telling you that. But there are ways to increase our odds for consistency. And let me show you what they are. How can we increase our odds? Well, we add the pet D. You've heard about me speak about this before, but this is probably the best short term trend identifying tool I have seen in my nearly 40 years of trading. In fact, I was introduced to this on the floor roughly 40 years ago. At the time, we called this the formula because it was simply a formula that you had to calculate bar by bar. It's not really extremely difficult, but it was just difficult enough so that you couldn't use it intraday because it was something that by the time you figured out what the calculation was on a five or 10 minute bar, it was time to figure out the calculation on the next bar. So it didn't give you enough time. But because of now, some 40 years later, high speed computers and programmers, we've been able to formulate it into a color bar tool. So as you can see here, when you have a series of green bars, the pet D is telling you that the short term trend is up. When you have a series of red bars, the formula or the pet D is telling you that the short term trend is down. It's that simple. So you don't have to look for all these you know, different patterns, uh, use all these different indicators, look at a higher time frame to tell you what to do on the lower time frame. Don't overcomplicate your trading. The easiest thing is just to apply the pet D and that tells you the short term trend. I use this every day. I just used it trading prior to beginning this presentation. So here's how we're going to use it with bull bull and bear bear patterns. We're only going to buy a bull bull pattern if the two bar pattern is colored green. OK, it's that simple. So those two bars need to be colored green by the pet D. It doesn't matter if every bar prior to that is red. Absolutely makes no difference. We're only concerned with that two bar bull bull pattern. So if we look at this example right here in FFIV, what do we have? We have a bull bull pattern. But remember, it doesn't work 100 percent of the time. How can we increase our odds for success? Well, we add the pet D. And if the pet, pet D has colored these two bars green, then it's OK to take this as a valid signal that the market's going higher. And as you can see, the pet D has been green for the last week. So this is a good sign. All right. This gives you the confidence the market is moving higher and the stock went up 18 points in three weeks. Obviously, there was some big news event or something that caused that uh, big major spike. But the pet D knew about that in advance nearly a month prior to that news announcement. It already knew that the trend was up. Now, if we want to trade bear bear patterns, well, we're only going to sell if the two bar bear bear pattern is colored red. Once again, it doesn't matter if every bar prior to that pattern is green. If those two bars are red, the market as well as the pet D are telling you that most likely we're going lower because you see the pet D all the pet D does is translate for you what the market wants to do. OK, just the way the bull bull and bear bear pattern is a translator. The pet D is also a translator, but the pet D is translating momentum because that's what the proprietary tool is based off of. It's based off of momentum. So as we can see here, HRB was going lower, obviously, and, and it's not that difficult to tell that it's in a downtrend. All right. But what do we have here? We have a bear bear pattern. Well, you know, we kind of think to ourselves, well, 
boy, this stock is really falling out of bed. How do I know I really want to take this? You simply add the pet D and you can see it gives you the confidence to take the trade because both bars still are red. So the pet D is translating that the market wants to go lower as well as the bear bear pattern is telling you it wants to go lower. So you have the confidence to know that this is going lower, not to buy it or look for some type of structure to go short. And the stock fell another nine points in the next two months. OK. All right. So let's look at some more examples. Now, you know how we're going to increase our odds for success with these patterns. Let's look at some more examples. OK. Let's start off with stocks. As we can see here in OI, we have two bull bull patterns. But how do we know whether we should take them or not? Well, we apply the pet D and both those patterns are green. So this has given us the confidence to go long and the stock goes up. Hey, works pretty good but maybe it's gone up too far. Well, according to the pet D, no, it hasn't because all the bars are still green. The, the pet D is translating that we want to go higher. As well, you have a bull bull pattern here. In fact, it's engulfing another one on top of that. So this is giving you the confidence that we're going to be going higher and the stock rose another couple of points. So it went up a total of four points in one month, all right? All because you had this information on your own. No one was telling you anything. No one was feeding you information about volume or about support resistance. There's no consistency in those things. Trust me, I've been trading for nearly four decades. I have not found any consistency in that or what the institutions are doing. So why, why overcomplicate your trading? Just listen to one thing, and that's the market. Listen to what the market wants to do instead of outside sources telling you what to do. How about Twitter? Okay, this was coming in the beginning of the year. Obviously, there's been some bad news about it, but how did we know that the company was going to be going lower and lower? After all, right here, it looks like we're making a, a double bottom. Okay, there's support there. I'm sure if you went to a chat room, they'd say, well, there's major support here. You got a double bottom. This is where all, all the institutions are buying. So um, I think we should uh, actually purchase this. Well, what do we have? We have a bear bear. You don't want to purchase anything if you have a bear bear because the market is telling you, not some guy in a trading room, but the market is telling you it's most likely going to be going lower. So how do we get that confidence to go short? Well, we apply the pet D. And as we can see, the pet D has been red the entire time. So we have super confidence this is going lower. And we all know what Twitter's been doing. Twitter went down eight points in the next two months. <clears throat> as we can see here in FAST, we had multiple bull bull patterns that were all colored green by the pet D. And so the market gave you five points to work with. Now, as it started to come around and roll over, what do we have here? Well, the market has changed according to the pet D. It's starting to turn red. So it's telling you most likely the uptrend is over. At the same time, the market is telling you we have a bear bear pattern. So this is a very negative sign from the market. If you were long, you wanted to exit. And if you're more aggressive, you would have gone short and Guess what? Another two points to the downside after that. CI, okay, where we're going upwards with all green bars, and then we were met with a bear bear pattern, and both bars were colored red. The stock fell 13 points in three weeks. You see how easy trading is when you only listen to the most important thing, the source. That's the market you're trading. EIX, all right, the stock was going higher coming into June. And we have a bull bull pattern that is colored green by the pet D. So it's given us the confidence to go long and the stock rose five points in the next month. How about JEC? The same thing. All of the bars are colored green and we have a bull bull pattern. Stock rose eight points in the following month. All right. ALXN. Now, this stock was going straight up. Obviously, some news happened or something came out and we had a strong gap to the downside and the bars are obviously turning red. So the trend is down. All right. The stock has really fallen out of bed and it's met with another bear bear pattern. So we're thinking, how can the market go lower? I mean, it's gone down so, so far so quickly. You mean the market is telling me it wants to go lower? Yes, most likely it is. So had you taken that, you still would have had some nice move to the downside because the market went down another 14 points in the next week. See how the market most of the time tells you what it wants to do in advance. But for some reason, myself included, we were all trained never to listen to the market. We were always trained to listen to what some guy is saying on TV or listen to the institutions or listen to what the volume is or listening to what the uh, Elliott Wave patterns are. Remember, they're too subjective. Those things are very, very difficult to figure out. 
one trader's support is another trader's resistance. It's much easier to learn how to listen to the market by applying these tools and techniques and you'll be more, much more in sync. All right, here's a perfect example of how when the market changes directions, you can change with it. Now we had a really nice bull bull pattern here, colored green and Urban went up six points. We so had six points to work with, all right? Now, if you wanted to go long that, you could have taken a point profit, two point, three points, it's up to you. Now, when, once the market changed, guess what? We have a bear bear pattern. And this one took a little while to, to get going. It took a couple of weeks, but ultimately the market went lower, went down another five points. FOSL. Here we can see the market is starting to change. We have green pattern, then red, then back to green, but now we have three consistent red and we have a bear bear pattern. So even though nothing has happened in the following week, we know we're, we are negative on this stock. We're not looking for some type of bottom. We don't care what the earnings are. We don't care what's going on in the world. We're only looking at what the pet D and the bear bear pattern is telling us. Those are both, both negative signs. So we're not gonna buy this. And it's a good thing we didn't because look what happened. 13 points in the next three weeks. Now, obviously some news or something happened here in May where the stock really fell out of bed. We didn't know anything about that. We, we never follow fundamental news at specialist trading. We, we advise our students, most likely you can do whatever you want, but we never suggest to follow any fundamental news because it only complicates your trading. It's too subjective. We always suggest that our students only listen to the market. And as you can see here, if you just listen to the pet D and the bear bear, it told you everything you needed to know that this wanted to go lower. Now you can also apply this to ETFs. Here's a, a chart, older chart of the diamonds. That's the ETF based on the, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Okay, now as you can see here, the market has been going higher. All right, most likely if you've been trained to use uh, um, uh, bearish engulfing patterns, you're looking for some type of reversal, okay? But what do we have here? We have two bull bull patterns circling green and we have one bear bear. So which one do we take? Remember conventional wisdom always tells us that, well, you always look for a reversal if you've been going higher because you know you wanna sell at the top and buy at the bottom. We don't teach or believe in that at specialist trading. If a market wants to go up, it can go up as high as it wants. It's not up to us to decide when it's topping out or bottoming out. Usually the market tells us what it wants to do and we just jump on board. Now, it's giving us mixed signals here. Two bull bulls and one bear bear. Which one do we take? This is where the pet D is so valuable. All you have to do is apply the pet D and see how it corresponds. Now, if we were to take that bear bear pattern, both of those bars would have had to been colored red. But as you can see here, all the bars from the beginning of this chart have been green. So there's absolutely no reason to think that the market is going to reverse. You know, trying to pick a top is silly because the market is telling you it wants to go higher. So we would take advantage only of the bull bull patterns and the market went up another 10 points in the following month. Okay, that represented hundreds if not thousands of points in the Dow. Now remember we showed you that Apple pattern where it didn't work out and we said like, well, not all the bull bull and bear, bear patterns are gonna work 100% of the time. This is how the pet D can help because many times it will help keep you out of trades. So sometimes the best trades are the ones you never take. Now, just based off the pattern, you would naturally think, well, the market is telling me this wants to go lower. We've topped out. But the pet D is also translating what the market uh, wants to do based off the market's momentum. And if we apply the pet D, both of those bars should be colored red. But as we see here, they're colored green. So the momentum, according to the formula behind the PET-D, hasn't changed. It's still telling us the momentum is up. So we're not going to take that signal. And that's why we would have bypassed this trade and not lost any money. Same thing happens with PRGO. Remember, earlier we had showed you this, and you may have taken this trade and said, well, Steve says a bull bull pattern is very positive. The market's supposed to be telling me it wants to go higher. But remember, Nothing works 100% of the time. So in order to increase our odds for consistency, we add the pet D to tell us if it's in sync with going higher. So if we wanted to buy this, the pet D needs to color both of these bars green. Let's add the pet D. And guess what? Both of those bars are red. They have a red outline. So the pet D is telling us, no, the momentum is still down. You don't want to take this setup. So you would have bypassed this and missed that entire sell-off.
See how valuable the pet D is? Once again, I told you, I've been using this for 35 years. I use it on a daily basis with all my trading. As we can see here, this is Microsoft. This is just going back a month ago. This is uh, in the beginning of July. We had a bull bull pattern here the first week of July, and it encompassed some other uh, bars here as well, and the stock went up six more points. Now, Delta Airlines, this was at the end of June. We had a bear bear pattern, and in two days or three days, the stock fell six points. So you had six points to work with. Now, the trend changed. We started to go higher, but then guess what? We had another bear bear pattern here, and so the market is telling us it wants to go lower, as well as the pet D is translating that the momentum has shifted. And so coming into yesterday, that was three more points to the downside. How about EFX? Okay, this was coming into the end of July. At the very first week, we had a bull bull pattern. It was colored green by the pet D, and the stock went up seven points in three weeks. Remember, we're not concerned with news we don't care about what's going on in the world fundamentally fundamentally or economically. It doesn't really matter because that stuff is very important to know if we're investing. Obviously, if you're investing or holding something for the long term, you need to know about the uh, the makings of the company or, or how well it's doing with its earnings or whatever or what's going on in the world. But if we're trading for two weeks to a couple of months, there's absolutely no need to look at news. I stopped looking at news over 30 years ago. I was on the floor making markets in over 50 stocks. I never looked at the news. So if a specialist, someone who actually makes markets in the stocks, doesn't you know, have any interest in what's going on economically or fundamentally with the news, why should you, someone just trading your own personal account? Looking at AGN right here, this was coming into this past uh, June and into July. We have a bear bear pattern, 20 points in the next week, okay? Now, let's transfer over into an entirely different market, different time frame, the E-mini S&P, because we know that not, not everyone trades stocks. And I just want to share with you that this technique and the pet D just doesn't work for stocks. You can apply it for intraday trading of uh, stocks as well as the E-mini futures or any future for that matter. Let's look at a 30 minute chart of the E-mini futures. OK, as we can see here, this is on a, uh, a Globex chart. We're kind of going sideways to a little bit lower, but we're met with a number four altogether bear bear patterns. Okay, this is extremely negative. The market is telling us, <clears throat> excuse me, most likely it's going to go lower. But at the same time, we want to have the assurance to know that we're in sync with the momentum of the market on a 30 minute time frame. So let's add the pet deed to make sure that it's colored all of those bars red. And as we can see, each and every one of those bear bear patterns is red. So now we have the confidence either to get out of the market completely if we're trading a 30 minute time frame, or for more aggressive to actually go short. And as you can see, the market fell 22 points or $1,100 per contract in the following hours. All right, see how easy this is. How about a one minute time frame? okay? A lot of traders I know like to trade tick charts or one minute time frame. Well, here we have a one minute time frame of the E-mini future. We have, once again, four more bull bull patterns, all right? But it's been going steadily higher. How do we know it's going to go higher? We add the pet D. And each and every one of those bull bull patterns is colored green, so it gives us the confidence to even buy more. And the E-mini rose 15 points in two hours. That's, you know, $750 per contract. Now, we're not saying you would have gotten in right at the bottom and exited at the top. We're just telling you that this is how much you have to work with. I mean, wouldn't you like to know that after seeing one of these patterns, you have a good amount of uh, uh, size in your direction and points in your direction to work with. You can exit with one point, five points. It's up to you. Remember, as I stated in the opening statements, we're not here to tell you where to buy and where to sell and where to exit. We give you all the different variables and different options which to do that. But ultimately, it's your choice. You know, this, these are not systems. We allow you the freedom to say, you know what, I'm going to exit with three points. I'm fine with that. Or someone saying, I'm going to stay in for the long haul. It's up to you. In our opinion, this is the only way you will ever become a consistent trader by listening to your own decision making process instead of someone else. Now, let's look over in the Forex markets because it does not matter which market or what time frame we're looking at. These techniques will work with anything. Here's a weekly chart of the Canadian dollar. What do we have here? We have a bull bull pattern. Market is telling us it wants to go higher. But how can we increase our odds for success even more? We apply the pet D. 
And as we can see, those two bars are colored green. So on a weekly time frame, this is a very bullish indication. And in the next two months, the Canadian dollar rose 1,200 pips. That's that's roughly twelve thirteen thousand dollars per uh, uh, forex contract. So let's recap before we go into questions and answers. Okay, let's recap what we we taught you and shared with you and revealed today. Only buy or sell candlestick patterns that are in sync with the pet D. All right. Now these candlestick patterns I share with you today are bull bull bear bear patterns. These are extremely extremely uh, powerful, but most likely uh, you've never heard of them before. In fact, I would venture to say that a good many uh, traders have never heard of these patterns before. Uh, I've only spoken about them and given webinars maybe once or twice before in the past, but these are very, very uh, powerful and very, very uh, strong uh, patterns to look for to tell you what the market, not what somebody is telling you, but telling you what the market wants to do. Now, extremely important. I just shared and revealed this technique today. I taught you what to look for. I taught you how to increase your odds for success with the pet D, but very important things to remember. This is not a complete strategy. I know the first question I get when I open up the question and answer box is, well, Steve, where do I place my stop? Where do I exit? Remember, you need those pieces of the puzzle in order to trade. I just shared with you a great pattern to look for that's giving you an edge as to the short-term direction of the market. We didn't talk about entry signals. We didn't talk about stop placement. We didn't talk about exiting, advanced exit signals. And we didn't talk about money management as well. These are all pieces of the puzzle that you need in order to trade. You just can't say, well, I see a bull bull pattern and or I see a uh, any other type of uh, candlestick pattern. It's colored green, so uh, I guess I'll take it. Well, where do you enter? Where do you exit? Where do you place your stop? You need to have those pieces of the structure in place prior to even entering the trade. I know a lot of you are say, well, Steve, you know, the classes I've gone to or courses I've spent tons of money on, they, you know, uh, they don't work for me. For some reason, nothing is working. Well, here's where we come into play. Remember, we're educators. Here's what we're offering all of our attendees today. We're offering a great candlestick strategy. That's strategy number five, along with the pet D. We call this our candlestick combination because it's so powerful. With this, you get instant course access detailed instructions, five online videos. We teach you all of the entries, all the exits, and all the stops and different variables. So that if you want to trade conservatively, you can trade and use the conservative entries. If you want to trade aggressively, you can use the aggressive entries, aggressive stops, aggressive exits, number of variations. But then in the end, we work and mentor with you, and then you decide how you want to trade it. Remember, you have to put the power back in your hands. We're supplying you with things that have stood the test of time, but ultimately it's you that has to make the choice. In our courses, we provide you with all this. You have personal correspondence with myself. We work together to formulate a plan that makes you feel comfortable. If you're conservative, you're aggressive. We give you the pet, four pet D trading techniques included with this strategy, this candlestick strategy. We also provide you with both add-ons. In other words, you get the add-on that tells you when a buy or sell signal has been generated by strategy number five. You also get the add-on that will color the bars red or green according to the pet D, all right? And also, for one year, we're also supplying you with educational signals. Now, these are not signals telling you what to blindly buy and sell on a nightly basis. These are only telling you what to look for so that you'll ultimately be able to put the power back in your hands. Let me show you what I mean here. Here are some signals that were generated just the past couple of weeks ago. As we can see here, you get an alert through email once you become a course member and a student of mine. Now, this was on the 25th of July. The actual email alert was sent on the night of the 22nd. So if you're an aggressive trader, you could have entered on the night of the 22nd, or you could have entered the next day on the 25th. And as we see here in LLTC, a buy signal was generated. We generate both buy and sell signals, once again, though, for educational purposes only. We don't want you to just simply take them. We want you to Check your work to see if you noticed one of these as a signal as well. So looking at LLTC, we see here on the night of the 22nd, a buy signal was generated. Now, if someone just looked blindly at that chart, they would have said, well, you know, Steve, everything I've been taught, uh, there, there's no trend here. We're basically going sideways. How can you get a buy signal off, off a kind of a whipsaw, you know, rangy pattern? Well, we have a buy signal generated here on the 22nd. Now, that's a strategy number five candlestick strategy buy signal. 
In order to increase your odds for success, we add the pet D, and a buy signal needs to be colored green. So once we add the pet D, we see that even though this market has been going sideways for the last three or four weeks, all of the bars have been green. So the pet D has known that this has been in an uptrend for weeks. So there's no way we should have ever considered shorting this. And so now the, the uh, pet D is colored at green. You have the confidence to take this. And in two days, the stock went up 16 points. Once again, obviously some news came out that, that told the stock uh, was going much higher, that uh, reported something that the stock really took off. We had no idea anything was in play. It wasn't like the CEO of LLTC called me up and told me to generate a buy signal. We got all our information from the market. Remember, as I stated earlier, the market most of the time will tell you in advance, before news, before events, what it wants to do. So we had a buy signal two days before that announcement or whatever that event that caused the stock to go straight up. Okay. Now, if you'll notice, that same email alert generated sell signals, and we had a sell signal in Disney. So a lot of people will say, well, Steve, how can you get a buy and a sell signal on the same day in two different stocks? You know, I thought you have to go in sync with the market. We tell our students, listen, it's up to you. If the market is in an overall uptrend, then you can only take buy signals, but you don't have to. You can take each individual signal on its own merit. So while you can be going long one stock like LLTC, you can also be shorting Disney. As we see here, Disney was going lower coming into the 22nd and a strategy number five sell signal was generated. Now, most people would say, well, Steve, God, I've been taught that, you know, candlestick patterns are reversal patterns. You know, how can I be going short after the stock has gone much lower? Remember, conventional wisdom usually is wrong. There's no consistency in conventional wisdom. If you get a signal, we take it for that. That's it. But the best way to take a signal and be confident in it is to have it generated and then uh, confirmed by the pet D. So let's see if the pet D colored this red. As you can see, the pet D has colored the last four days red. So we know that we have the confidence to take this trade. And coming into yesterday, the pet D, I'm sorry, Disney dropped three points in one week. Okay. So on the same day, we generated a really nice uh, buy signal. And on the same day, we generated a really nice sell signal. These are all included in the candlestick combination. Strategy number five, along with the pet D. Now this is extremely, extremely valuable course, probably one of our most popular courses because of how consistent it is. Now, as I stated, my sister site, which is Pro Trader Strategies, they have this uh, usually going for up to three or $4,000 just to buy this candlestick combo. For all of our attendees today, we're discounted to a one-time fee of $14.95 plus $97 per month for a limited time only. Now, if you'd like to purchase the whole thing and not have to worry about paying a monthly fee, it goes for roughly $29.95, okay? Here's the good news. We realize that not everyone can come up with that uh, lump sum, even for the attendee discount. Pro Trader Strategies is willing to work with you with uh, any type of payment plan, okay? So co contact them and they can put together a payment plan or some type of structure so that you'll be able to become a student of mine and be up and running ASAP. Here's how to contact them. Here's Pro Trader Strategies information. There's email address. Here is their phone number. If you'd like to construct some type of uh, uh, payment plan, call them at 310-598-67. Now the link you see at the very bottom is the link for that discount. But once again, that's not a live link. So if you wanna take advantage of that, just simply copy that and paste that onto your browser and it will automatically take you to that link, okay? But it's not live, so you have to copy and paste that. I would say probably the best thing to do if you wanna put together some type of payment plan is to contact Pro Trader Strategies. You know, there's nothing, uh, no obligation. It's good just to talk with them and ask them questions. They're all qualified, they're all trading consultants. And you can ask them any question about the, the candlestick combination, anything about putting together a payment plan, and they'll be happy to work with you to make things easy for you so that you can become, that you can be up and running and become a student of mine as soon as possible, okay? So there's the information you need. Let me open up the question and answer box real quickly here. And I want to thank you all for holding off on asking any questions. Okay. A lot of people are asking what the pet D is. The pet D is a color bar algorithm. It's a proprietary algorithm. We're keeping it in house because we have a number of hedge funds and institutions that are interested in using it and licensing it. So we're not divulging what the uh, secret is so that we can you know, have it for all of our course members as well. Now we may turn this into some type of licensing agreement in the future, which will unfortunately increase the, uh, 
the price of the pet D. So probably the best thing to do is to take advantage of this low discount price because in the near future, we may turn it into a licensing program, okay? It's a color bar algorithm that is based off of momentum. I know a lot of people on the internet and people I've talked to have tried to figure out what it's based off of. All of them are completely wrong. The only thing I can tell you is that, trust me, even if some of these people in the chat rooms were able to figure out what the pet D uh, was based off of, it wouldn't matter because I can almost guarantee you they would apply it incorrectly. They would use it as if it were a system or a strategy. Remember, it's a short-term trend identifier. It's also a signal co confirmation tool, okay? And so there's a number of ways to apply it and to use it, but if you apply it incorrectly, you will most likely fail. So the, the emphasis should not be what it's based on. The emphasis should be on how to apply it correctly. That's what the real secret comes in, and that's what my 40 years of experience as your personal mentor comes in, because I can teach you exactly how to apply it. You can correspond with me and say, Steve, is this the correct way to apply the pet D, or, or how come this didn't work? Did I do this incorrectly? And I'm there right with you every step of the way. This is all included in the pet D course, okay? Okay, so... Uh, <clears throat> Questions, the pet decolors the bars. Yes, it automatically colors the bars from green to red. Now, here's another question. A lot of people ask, does it uh, uh, repaint? In other words, say a bar closes green and does it, uh, you know, after three or four bars change to red? No, once a bar closes, it stays that color. So you never have to worry about it changing. And you say, hey, I, I took this trade based off the pet D, now it changed. It will never change. It stays the same color. Now, once a bar is open, depending on the volatility and the momentum of that particular bar, it may change from green to red. You don't see that a lot. Just very, you know, it depends on what time frame you're using. But once it closes, though, it's uh, pretty much, uh, you know, just it's going to stay there. It's just, it's just uh, stuck to the color it closes at. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Neil asks, he missed the beginning. Will a recording be? Yes, available. Yes, contact Pro Trader Strategies, and they will send you a recording to this. But remember, in order to get that discount, you have to contact them within the next 48 hours. This is for a limited time only. So, you know, this is a great, as you've seen, this is usually running for three to $4,000. We've discounted it down for a one lump payment, one lump sum of $29.95. And then we've discounted it even more for a one lump payment of $14.95 along with a $97 monthly fee. So there's lots of ways to take advantage of that, but you have to do it quickly, okay? Um, a lot of people are asking about the platforms, and, and uh, let me just go through a list of the platforms it works on. It works on TradeStation, which I mainly use it on, Metastock, MT4, NinjaTrader. Uh, it does work on Thinkorswim, but we have to alter things a little bit because of the way Thinkorswim is uh, set up. Uh, we have to uh, split their data. So we, what we do is we take their data and we use it on a NinjaTrader platform, which we supply you with. OK, so you can be looking at Thinkorswim and NinjaTrader at the same time, but NinjaTrader will have all the signals and the pet D on it. OK, so that it, and we set that up for you with our tech support. So there's no problem putting that together and it's all free of charge. It's all included. So if you have Thinkorswim right now, you'll get a free NinjaTrader platform, which is great in itself. We have a number of traders who just simply use NinjaTrader and you'll be able to use that and to see everything in front of you. OK, also works on uh, FCXM and um, Sierra charts. And I think I said MT4. Uh, it's just a great, great uh, uh, accessibility for all these different uh, platforms and it works well on all of them. Uh, if your uh, platform wasn't mentioned, contact Pro Trader Strategies and they can let you know if it will be applied to that platform, okay? If not, we can set you up with a Ninja Trader platform. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see. The market cannot tell the direction unless it is dictated by the institutional buyers and sellers, right? <laughs> Absolutely wrong, uh, John. I have stopped looking at institutional buyer and sellers. And remember, why overcomplicate your trading on trying to figure out what something else is doing? I mean, remember, it's like take your information from the source. You know, the, the source is not the institutional traders. There's a number of other, you know, ebbs and flows to the market. So just listen to the market. The reason why, I, I don't know if you came in too late, but uh, John, the reason why most traders fail 
in my experience, is because you're taking your cue from an outside source. Now, this can be either institutional traders, it can be tons of indicators, it can be uh, Fibonacci retracements, but each and every one of those things is telling you where the market's going to stop, where it's going to go, uh, where a base is, support. Too complicated. And trust me, if those things work so well, why aren't 80% of all traders uh, successful? It's the opposite. 80% of all traders fail. And when I say fail, I don't mean they go into a small drawdown. I mean, they literally give away all their nest egg. So we're trying to change that. And it's been my experience because I was right there with those traders. Uh, to, uh, you know, when I first started out, my first two years, I thought I was going to join the ranks of those 80%. I was lucky enough for my mentors who had been trading roughly about 40 years each, they were specialists themselves, to tell me the same things I've told you. Don't rely on what the institutions are doing. Don't rely on news because they're too subjective and there's no consistency in them. Only listen to the thing in front of you. That's the source, that's the chart you're looking at. Once you start doing that, you'll start to become consistent. So it was very difficult for me to grasp that, but once I did, that's what made all the difference. And that's what's allowed me to trade for nearly four decades. So we're not trying to just offer you some type of system or some type of uh, get rich quick scheme that will make you tons of money in six months and then give it all back. You know, there's no, you know, there's no success in that. We're trying to give you solid fundamental education, ways in which to look at the market, which most likely you've never done before, so that you can be trading 20, 30, 40 years from now. Okay? That's what we're trying to do as your educator. Remember, we are solely an educational company. Okay, let's see. Uh, Terry asked if we can go over the specific bull bull and bear bear patterns. Well, Terry, I don't want to backtrack that much because those slides are about 100 slides back. But remember, I can just say this, a bullish engulfing pattern is a two bar pattern. Bar number one's open to close range is usually down. And bar number close, uh, the bar number two's open to close range is up. In a bull bull pattern, both of those open to close ranges must be up. So bar number one must be an up day. Bar number two must be an up day. Now we're just going to do the reverse for bear bears. A, bear, uh, a bearish engulfing pattern is a two bar pattern where bar one is up and bar two's open to close range is down. Now we have for a bear bear pattern to have both of those bars down. Okay, this gives us greater odds for success that we're going in that direction. Okay. Um, James asking if this works for Thinkorswim. Yes, it does, James. Uh, if you may have come in late, it does. Uh, if you're a Thinkorswim uh, user, you can use Thinkorswim livestock data, and we get the pet D running for you with a free NinjaTrader add-on, a chart and add-on. So it's all done through our tech support. They're great. Uh, they do it for free. There's no extra cost. And so Thinkorswim users can be watching it just as simply on a NinjaTrader platform, okay? Uh, Let's see, Gene is asking, hi, Gene. Gene is asking, if you buy the option of $14.95 and $97 a month, how long do you pay the $97? Do you pay until you reach the total? Uh, <laughs> you know, that's Gene, that's a question for uh, Pro Trader Strategies, but I believe it's a reoccurring payment, okay? Uh, remember, if you have a question about platforms, contact Pro Trader Strategies uh, because they're the ones to answer uh, all platform questions. Uh, they're more uh, knowledgeable on different platforms than I am. I'm, I'm more of the educational and teaching uh, aspect of the company, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, people are asking on Forex. Yes, it works great on Forex. I showed you a number of, of Forex examples. I showed you on that Canadian dollar how uh, on a weekly time frame uh, you would have taken advantage of it. Uh, it works great on Forex, okay? All I can tell you is that uh, it does not matter what market you're trading. You know, a lot of people will say, well, Steve, I don't trade stocks. I trade futures. Great. I trade mainly futures myself. It works great on futures as well as Forex, as well as stocks, and as well as commodities. We have a number of traders who trade commodities. We also have people who use this for binary options. Remember also that if you like to trade stocks but like to trade options, well, you know, in the course, we tell you where the entry points are. You don't have to buy or sell the stock. You can simply purchase an option. You can buy a long call or a long put, or you can uh, apply some type of uh, a, a spread or strategy uh, that gets you in sync with the direction of the market. So don't feel as if you have to actually buy the stock or buy the future or the, com uh, or the commodity or the currency period. You can apply options or different ways in which to use it. All right. These are just great, great techniques for getting you in to a high probability setup. 
And the best news is that I am your personal mentor. I'll be with you there with you every step of the way. You can always correspond with me through email. This is not like so many other websites where they give you the information and say good luck and then you send an email and uh, you hear back maybe two or three weeks later, all right? Usually I respond back to my students in the next 24 hours, sometimes in the next 20 minutes. So I'm there with you every step of the way. Remember, we provide you with the things that have stood the test of time. We don't provide you with things that are subjective, like volume, like interest rates, like uh, institutions, like uh, what somebody's saying in a chat room. We don't believe in those things. We want things that are cut and dry, that have stood the test of time. These are the things that change my trading and turn my trading around and I teach the same things that I currently use in my own personal trading. So remember, everyone should trade different. No two people should ever trade the same. That's a recipe for disaster. So what we do is we provide you with the tools and information and then work with you so that you can make your own plan, okay? We provide you the shell, the format with these strategies, with the pet D, and then we work with you if you wanna trade conservatively, if you wanna trade aggressively, we have all the tools for that type of trading. This, once again, been my experience is the only way you will truly ever become a consistent trader. Not by blindly taking signals from someone in a chat room or a trade room, but from making your own trading decisions, okay? Now we're over halfway through the year. Everyone makes a promise at the beginning of the year how they want the trading and their uh, investing to be. And I can venture to say that the majority of us never reach that goal, okay? I know I did when I first started trading. All right. If you want to reach that goal, if you want to get back on board with your trading to be consistent, jump on board, become a member of this great discount, become a student of mine and get on board with the candlestick combination. OK. All right. Here's the information. Once again, Pro Trader Strategies, contact them with any questions, put together a payment plan and you can just go directly and call them or email them. Probably the best thing to do would be to call them with any questions you may have about platform issues and about payment plans. OK. In closing, I want to thank you so much for attending today. I really hope you got something out of this. I hope you learned something. And in closing, I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine and members of the Candlestick Combo. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.